guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today we will take a look at a special topic and that is how to win mines from the east. The side where your team clearly does have a disadvantage right from the get-go. If you're interested in more reviews and gameplay, go to YouTube and search for World of Tanks with Bruce to get all of my videos or click on the subscribe button and now let's go. Alright, here we are in the game we are in a top tier situation on mine starting in the south and let's uh, first of all have a look on a little theoretical lesson to see how mines how the map mines usually works this is how the map mines usually looks like after a couple of seconds into the game and um, the way mines works is if you have control over the hill then you have maybe or let's say 90 percent of uh, the map control why because um, if you have control over this hill then you can spot basically um yeah uh, most of the map so for the red team this means that um if the enemy tanks are going um here then they can spot uh, basically all this part um up until maybe let's say here and if those tanks are going to this or to that position then they can spot the rest of um, the map so they have basically um, they can basically outspot every part of the map and that is super super difficult um, to defend um, and so the the team that uh, wins the hill usually wins the map now um, in order to get access to the hill, as you can see here, uh, most of the time um, light tanks are rushing the hill. So um, as it was depicted, it is usually like that. And then the advantage that the team in the north has, it does have a very nice crossfire position from here. Um, not only to the, to the ones that are rushing towards the hill, but also to the heavy tanks that are brawling in this area. Now this position is much better than the opposite position, the one in the south, because right here behind this rock you do have the possibility to uh, get crossfire here. However, um, first of all, you are exposed to tank destroyers here once you move to the left or to the right to get cross to get crossfire to the heavies here. And then the second problem is if you are, um, if somebody has uh, managed to win the hill, so let's delete those uh, things here. So if, for example, the red team has managed to win the hill, um, and if they are peeking around that corner, then you are basically um, not safe against this crossfire, and you will basically eat shots. Moreover, you will also get crossfire from uh, the little hill in the west, and so this position is not pretty safe, not very safe, um, compared to the one um, right here, because um, let's say the team in the south has managed to win the hill, then yes, um, you this one might take you under fire. However, this is a high down position, so if you're playing in a high down tank, then um, this guy will not be able to make damage. Furthermore, um, from the little position, from the position here, or even if the blue team um, is playing aggressively and pushing towards, let's say, this area of the map, then there is no possibility to get crossfire to this position. This rock is in the way, so this position is much better than that one. And um, yeah, the team in the north in general does have a huge advantage. All right. So the question we have is where do we go and as you can see we are in a uh, top tier um, situation in a tier 9 heavy tank so the firepower of our tank is um, the best in this game compared to other tanks and um, as we only have one artillery I took the decision to go to the middle because I want to punish the enemy tanks that are approaching the hill um, because as I said winning the hill is super super important now um, I went into this position because um, once again I am top tier and so um, I do not fear 
an enemy light or medium tank that is even a um, lower tier that is of a lower tier to uh, win the hill and then to get shots on me so um, instead I want to win the middle and um, yeah my decision was to um, move over here now um, we do have to say one thing about um, the left side of the map and that is where the super hellcat went so um, let's now take a look and uh, see why the position of the super hellcat at the uh, h1 position is so important the position of the hellcat down here at the h1 um, grid is super super important because if the enemy team manages to win the one or let's say the two lane and move all the way down to um, to here or maybe even here then they have a perfect crossfire uh, situation on the enemy on the uh, on the um, heavy tanks that are fighting here in the middle and so instantaneously they will have basically uh, three quarters of map control because um, those tanks will be erased and then um, the enemy team does have basically map control right from here um, access to the hill plus um, um, yeah almost three quarters of map control plus they can win the hill and um, as I said they will be able to um, outspot the whole map all right so um, so far so good um, looks like the super hellcat is managing to hold um, the flank and as you can see the t29 is um, it is only a tier 7 heavy tank however in this position he can play hull down so um, he does have a super strong position now um, enemy vk4502 is making pressure and obviously we do need to punish him um, for his mistakes and meanwhile we need to watch out for the scorpion and the kb3 that have um, advanced on the one and two lane all right um, the enemy t10 is uh, making pressure and is trying to win the hill and that is now a super bad situation because um, now the enemy team has won the hill and that is um, quite a problem for us because uh, they will sooner or later make pressure towards the heavy tanks in the north and um, looks like we have lost the hill now can we get a shot on the leo yes looks oh, okay too bad ing was um, not in our favor and now um, things have changed because the T10 is a um, uh, tier 9 tank and um, I don't believe that I can stand this position in this position and uh, defend this position for the remainder of the game so we do, we do have to fall back and um, and uh, yeah fall back into a uh, safe position now um, as you can see the super hellcat is um, under artillery fire and um, the thing that we can do right now is to at least proxy spot um, the T10 once he moves forward um, so that our tank destroyers in the back can take him under fire now it looks like um, the enemy team is uh, making pressure on the one lane and that is um, super super bad for us so we do need to um, do everything we can to um, not lose the, the one or two lane uh, because of the uh, reasons I already mentioned. So I definitely um, want to move a little bit forward. It looks like, um, uh, looks like I should fall back a little bit. Now Helka is dead and um, yeah. so um, unfortunately the enemy FE4202 has managed to win this, uh, this side of the map and now we are in a super bad situation. Um, the enemy team does have three quarters of map control as I previously stated and now the question is what can we do? Now um, so far we are in a um, good position because we are proxy spotting every enemy tank that is making pressure on the hill um, and so far we just want to keep focusing the one lane so that we can make uh, so that we can um, yeah decrease the hit points of the tanks that are making pressure on the one or two lane and this is uh, what we can do right now so let's see if uh, somebody is able to spot the enemy fv4202 or the kv3 maybe here you go kv3 is spotted and as soon as he is moving to the um, k1 position we might get a shot on him 
So the first thing you need to do is if you are losing the hill, you have to fall back into this position right here in the south of the hill because that is a position where you can at least proxy spot the hill. And so uh, if you have tank destroyers, as we do have right now in the back of the map, then um, you can be at least useful for them and spot the hill. Um, it looks like the enemy F V4202 has um, advanced to um, the K4 position and this is the, the time where we do have to fall back and now um, we could stay in the in the position but, but um, for the time we would be relatively useless so I decided to, um, tr to try to help out my uh, heavy tanks and defend against the uh, enemy Centurion 7-1. And um, as you can see, the T-10 is making pressure, so we do need to fall back and we do need to fight against the enemy um, T-10. Okay, perfect. The um, enemy T-10 was taken out by the Convey, which is nice. And um, here you go. Now we want to get a uh, crossfire on the enemy FV-4202 if he is uh, advancing. Looks like the enemy Liu is taken out by the T95. Good job. And now um, it looks like the game is, is lost. However, as you will see, there is still a chance to win on mine. So the first thing I am doing now is uh, going back to this position um, and to proxy spot the enemy Scorpion. Now, as you can see, we are in a super, super bad situation. And now let's now um, take a look at the map. Now, what I need to do is I need to keep proxy spotting this position, the position um, right here and the position right here where the enemy scorpion is uh, standing. As long as we have tank destroyers in this position, they will be able to shoot towards the hill either like this or um, like this. Plus, they will be able to aim the position where the T-30 is. Um, so once he is advancing, he can receive fire from the tank destroyers here. Now, the important position is if you are in a tank destroyer, you have to um, go to this position in such a situation because you can still defend this flank by um, shooting in this area. You can, as I said, still f get um, shots on the hill. You can also get shots on this part of the map once uh, those uh, enemy tanks are advancing. Or, and you can even from this position, you are even able, you are even able sorry, uh, to defend this portion here once the FV is making pressure and uh, coming around that little corner here, um, you can take him under fire. Now you have to be cautious because um, the enemy FV does have um, does have a bush where from which he can work here. However, um, you can maybe play hull down here. Um, let's say um, sneak uh, around the corner or so, um, and you can defend um, this position. So um, in such a scenario, you can still defend every part of the map. So. Um, yeah, it is very important that you have at least one tank proxy spot in this area and then tank destroyers or maybe heavy tanks uh, right here behind this rock, safe from artillery, defending every piece of the map. Alright, so let's see what we can do. We are constantly proxy spotting the, the uh, Scorpion G on the hill and as you can see, he is receiving fire. However, um, I think um, the T95 received the spotting damage, the assistant damage. We will just stay in this position. Okay, as you can see, the T-30 is making pressure, too bad for us. However, he could not fall back into cover um, because the Centurion was right behind him. And now my reload is better, definitely, so I can finish him off. And I think he will be pissed by the stupidity of the Centurion 1. Um, also, the Scorpion G could be taken out, and as you could see, our tank destroyers could even take out um, the Centurion 7-1. Perfect job by our tank destroyers. Great, great job. And now it is time for us to advance, because we know there is nobody on the hill. We know the position of the, um, of the KV-3. 
plus we know the position of the object 704 and now we also know the position of the super hellcat and so um, basically we know where um, all the players are located there's only the scorpion that is not lit not the scorpion g but the scorpion the tier 7 american um tech destroyer here you go he is at the position where the um, artillery is the enemy artillery has uh, relocated but now we have managed to uh, regain control over the hill and now um, from here we are in a perfect situation to fight looks like we cannot get a crossfire um, um, crossfire on the enemy island let's see maybe if the scorpion moves over I think the um, convoy should definitely fall back Maybe he can, nice, he can take out the KV-3. The Scorpion did a superb job. And unfortunately, once again, um, RNG is uh, not to our favor. So, um, yeah, looks like we should um, turn around and help the T-95. And um, that is what I am signaling him right now. And let's see if I can um, get rid of the Super Hellcat. As long as we have the hill, we are in a very good position. Let's see, can we get a shot on the... Okay, once again. So far, IG is not on our side, but... Alright, at least we can uh, at least we could take out, out the enemy Hellcat. And now, our job is to, um, to help the T-95. Now, in this kind of situation at the end of the game where only two tanks are remaining you have to group up if we would go on our own now we would definitely lose the game so in this situation we have to group up okay we can at least track him that is good and now looks like the looks like he wants to fall back and now we can get a shot and we can take him out let's see here you go all right so uh, now we have taken him out and now, as you can see, we turned around the game with the excellent gameplay of the T95, of the Convey, excellent ga excellent gameplay, and um, I think our gameplay was also um, very nice, very decent. However, um, so far we um, did not have um, too much luck concerning uh, RNG and our shots, but now we are in a... Um, good situation and let's now take a look at um, uh, the next thing we can do now the reason why I paused the game right here is because there is one other thing to mention if I would go down here um, to chase the remainder of the team which is uh, right now situated here at the um, at the left side of the map um, the uh, myself and the plus the T95 we would go this direction here so we would be um, only able to spot let's say this part of the map and um, if the enemy remaining tank destroyer is smart he would move um, back towards his uh, own cap and flank us and then maybe um, have a um, and maybe have the chance to take out the T95 which is down to being almost one shotable so instead what I want to do is I want to cut off his way this is why I went to this position because as soon as I am here in this position um, right here I have uh, oh, sorry I have control over the map right here so as you can see I will be spotting this part of the map and so I can cut off his way take him out and then we will definitely win the game okay so uh, this is our game plan and um, yeah as you can see um, the scorpion is uh, actually chose to do um, the opposite and now we do have to turn around to help the t95 um, the T95 should be able to turn around towards the Scorpion and then uh, face to face the Scorpion does have, doesn't have any chance um, to uh, destroy the T95. However, there's still artillery in the game. Now, uh, fortunately, the T95 could take out the, um, the enemy Scorpion and now it is our time to finish the game. And um, I think um, we were able to turn around this game 
um, even though we were in the worst situation possible on this map because um, of the gameplay of the Conway, because of the gameplay of the T95 and because of our gameplay and um, on mines in the south you still can create crossfire situations with the tank destroyers in the J7 position and if you are proxy spotting the hill and this is what you have to do in order to win the game on mines if you are spawning in the south. Alright, here we are in another game, same situation on mines and this time we are not top tier but we are mid tier in a tier 10 matchup and um, I want to show you that um, the previous game was not pure luck but if you follow that strategy you will definitely be able to turn around games on mines from the east once the enemy team has managed to win the hill. So we are once again here in our TNHT VZ51, the tier 9 check heavy tank and once again I want to go to the middle to punish enemy tanks that are trying to rush the hill because once we've lost the hill the situation becomes extremely extremely difficult. Now as you can see the Medico has already managed to go to the hill however maybe the K91 is pushing forward and we can get a shot on him. Yes nice super nice. Now as you can see the Kampfpanzer 50T is playing in the position where I want to fight so I think um, two tanks in this position um, does not work at all. Maybe we can get a shot on his weak spot. No, the turret is just too strong, especially if we are shooting uh, standard ammunition. And now, as you can see, pretty much same situation. We have lost the hill, and now the AE Phase 1 can play hull down against us, so we definitely do have to um, leave this position as soon as possible because otherwise we will just get punished now yeah um, same situation we've lost the hill fortunately the object 907 is holding the left flank plus the T100 LT has advanced and um, maybe we can get a shot right here however on the other hand the AE phase 1 is just too strong in this position so we should change our game plan and um, the new game plan is, as I explained earlier in the first video, the new game plan is now to proxy spot the Carnarvon Action X and the other tanks that are playing on the hill. And um, yeah, nice, the Carnarvon is dead because we do have the support of the Grille 15 and also of the Scorpion G and the T28 in the back, so um, the perfect position of the griller would be slightly more to the right on the J7 position. However, our job is now to proxy spot the hill, not only for the griller but also for the AE phase 1. And let's pause here real quick. Because in such a situation you can not only fall back here to uh, proxy spot the uh, tanks playing in this part, but you can also um, fall back um, to the right side here to proxy spot those guys that are playing here and then you can create a crossfire situation so that those guys can take those tanks under fire. Right, so that is what we are doing here and as you can see it works out pretty nicely. We spotted the Medico and the Kampfpanzer 50T. So our guys, the AE Phase 1 on the C9 position does have the possibility to get a crossfire on those guys on the hill. Now, obviously the enemy tanks do know that we just proxy spotted them, so we will soon go back down to the G6 position and uh, proxy spot the tanks down there. So let's go. And as you can see, this is, uh, it feels bizarre to just do uh, the proxy spotting in a heavy tank, but that is exactly what we have to do in order to still have a chance to win this map. As you can see, we proxy spotted the Manticore, and this is now extremely important for us to um, give the Gorilla 15, the T28, and also the Scorpion G the possibility to get shots on the hill. So that 
Here you go. We are now, once again, Proxy spotting the Kampfpanzer 50T because he is positioning himself so that he can get a shot on the AE Phase 1. And I'm signaling those two tanks that I will Proxy spot the hill so that they can get shots on the hill. Meanwhile, looks like the M103 is advancing. However, our job, our priority number one right here is to Proxy spot the hill. And that is what we are going to do. Now, the Skoda T. 56 is asking for help, however, he should just stay defensively. Um, looks like the Gorilla 15 is uh, moving a little bit to the right, which is nice. And our job is just to keep those proxy spots. Yep, yeah, here you go. Um, to, to just proxy spot the hill um, so that the enemy team has no option on uh, using the hill in uh, the way they would like to do. Now, looks like our team has managed to win the left flank. However, um, from the position where they are right now on the E1, E2 position, up until the enemy cap circle, it is um, a huge open field. And if they would push, they would definitely be taken out by the enemy tank destroyers located at the A3 and A4 position. Okay, maybe we can once again Proxico. Looks like the Manticore has fallen back. So he's not on the hill anymore. I'm signaling the Scorpion G and the T28 that I am continuing to cross spot. Unfortunately, there is no enemy tank right there. Now it looks like the Skoda T56 is under pressure. However, believe me, the proxy spot the hill is the most important thing. Okay, it looks like the Brusk is taken out. Okay, and now obviously we do have to fall back because um because uh, there's no support. Now, we have lost the right flank, but that is not a problem at all. If we would have tank destroyers sitting over here, we could spot the enemies right here, and then we would have a crossfire situation from the tank destroyers. However, as this is not the case, um, it, is just a, um, it is just a question of positioning. And so, as our tank destroyers are sitting back here, then we just have to fall back um, we will just spot this portion here and then create a prop, a create a crossfire situation from the tanks that are located here towards that location. And then the only thing we have to keep um, in mind is to not fall back too far because it is possible that the enemy tanks will approach here. However, once again, um, once we spot him, we will have a crossfire situation. So right now, everything is still under control and it's just a question of positioning from ourselves. Alright, um, looks like the M103 is advancing and we definitely want to take him out, so let's see. Here we go, we can take him out. Now the Kampfpanzer 50T gets a shot towards us, but as I said, he's in a crossfire situation. And once again, we keep proxy spotting the hill, um, so the Bisonte C45 is lit and um, maybe he can receive a shot from the enemy team. now. As you can see, the K91 should still be on the hill. However, the enemy Progetto 46 and also the T30 are yeah, engaged in a fight with the HWK 30s and that gives us the chance to get a shot on the rear of those tanks. So yeah, we can take out the T30. However, we do have to watch out for the K91 and the Bison, the C45 that is situated still on the hill. But uh, it is very important to take out the Progetto 46. Here you go. And now let's fall back. And as you can see, we've turned around the game, playing smart and uh, always looking for crossfire situations on the map. Looks like the um, light tanks and also the Object 907 were able to win the left flank of the map. And now the Bisonta C45 does have an autoloader. So um, once he has shot or emptied his clip, here you go. Let's take him out. Oh, we can take them out and we'll receive another shot from the Bizonta C45, so we have to fall back. Um, he's also shooting heat, but that's what we are doing right now as well. And now we've won the game, as you can see, and um, our job is just to finish off the Bizonta C45. However, he will have the first shot opportunity once we move around the corner, so that's not what we're going to do. We will instead wait for him now. He has shot on the HWK and we will finish him off. Alright, yeah, this is how you can win mines 
and uh, as you can see it works pretty nicely if you have the support of your tank destroyers and then you always have to watch out for crossfire situations so if you've lost the, the, the hill on mines even if you've lost the left flank you can still win the game. Alright guys that was it for today with a little map tutorial of the map mines. What do you think about this map? Do you agree that it is unbalanced? Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time in another World of Tanks video.